I'm Kristen. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to discuss a pretty serious topic. One that I was fairly familiar with, but didn't know I would be learning so much about at this point in life. I'm talking about skin cancer. Last October 2018, I got out of the shower and noticed that a freckle on my left earlobe was bleeding. Not only was it bleeding, it felt like there was a scab on it. That's weird. I thought maybe it had been bleeding before and I didn't notice and that's where the scab came from. So I just brushed it off and kept getting ready and carried on with my day. But it didn't get any better. It stayed about the same. It was bleeding off and on. It still felt like there was a scab on it. I was really confused. What did I do? So I asked friends and family, what do you think this is? Is it a bug bite? What did I, did I scratch myself? They told me not to panic. It was probably nothing. Just put ointment on it. Keep an eye on it. Don't panic or overreact. You'll be fine. You're too young for skin cancer. Well, I put ointment on it and it did stop bleeding, but the texture stayed the same. And that just didn't sit right with me. I made an appointment with a dermatologist, and I'm glad I did. We discussed what I'd been experiencing, and she took a look at the area. She was concerned, too, and decided it would be best to take a biopsy of the freckle. So she cut off a portion of it and sent it to the lab. About two weeks after my appointment, I received a call from a specialist in her office, letting me know that it was, in fact, cancer. I panicked a little bit, she answered all of my questions, and got me set up for Mohs surgery. Now, Mohs surgery is specifically created for skin cancer patients. It typically focuses on small areas and leaves little to no trace that anything ever happened there. I should have very little scarring. They cut out a layer of my skin at a time. They took it immediately to another room put it under a microscope, and could see if all of the cancer cells were gone. After a few rounds, they saw that the cancer was gone, put 17 stitches in my ear, and sent me on my way. I didn't need any pain medication. Ibuprofen was enough. And now the best part is that most surgery leaves little to no trace that anything ever happened. I barely have a scar, and what is there will continue to fade with time. One thing I learned while researching skin cancer is that there are three main types of skin cancer, basal cell, squamous cell, and melanoma. Basal cell carcinoma accounts for more than 90% of all skin cancers in the United States. It's the most common of cancers. Typically, it is a slow growing cancer that rarely spreads to other parts of the body. Squamous cell carcinoma of the skin which is what I was diagnosed with, is usually non-life-threatening. It can be aggressive in some cases, but if it's caught early, you should be fine. If left untreated, the cancer can grow larger or spread to other parts of the body, causing serious complications. Melanoma, which I'm sure you've heard of, is the deadliest type of skin cancer. About 65% of all melanoma develop from ultraviolet exposure from sunlight or non-natural sources of light, like tanning beds. People under the age of 30 are at a higher risk for melanoma than any other age group. That risk has increased 50% since 1980. So that tells me, with my case and with many other cases, skin cancer doesn't discriminate with age. I highly recommend making an annual skin check appointment with your dermatologist. They'll look at every freckle and mole on your skin and just make sure that everything looks a-okay. Also, if something does seem off, schedule an appointment. Don't hesitate. Skin cancer can rapidly spread. It's not something to be messed with and it can be fatal. Make sure that you are diligent about wearing sunscreen. Even if you're not going to the pool or the beach, 
Just running errands in your car exposes your ears and other parts of your skin to the sun. That's probably what happened with me. I have sunscreen in my face lotion, and anytime I go to the pool or the beach, I make sure I cover myself in sunscreen. But what I don't do is put sunscreen on my ears or my arms when I'm just driving from place to place during the day. You have to be diligent about covering your skin. Okay guys, I'm not a doctor, but if you have any further questions about my experience, feel free to leave them below. Remember to subscribe and I look forward to speaking with you again soon.